Hello Rockstars, my name is Christopher from Rock Wireless and welcome to the Wizgate Show. In today's video we are going to unbox our Edge Lite 2 LoRaWAN Gateway. If you don't know what a LoRaWAN Gateway is, click this card to learn about it. Here we have the Wizgate Edge Lite 2, a good quality and minimalist cardboard box. Let's go straight to open it. And here we have our gateway. As you can notice, its form factor is similar to a normal internet router. In this little box, we can find the antenna rated for 902 to 928 MHz band. This covers the US 915, AU 915, AS 923, and KR920 LoRa bands. Make sure to select the correct version for your region on your purchase. Besides, we can find a plastic mount here for easy placement on walls or other surfaces than flat tops. Let's see what we can find below. Here's the power adapter. It can deliver 24 watts, 12 volts and 2 amps. Be aware that the plug type is defined by your region selection. It's time to put this together. First, screw the antenna in the RPSMA connector, not too tight to avoid damage. You can position it as you want and that's it. Just need to find a good place to install it. But first, let's take a look on some interesting features that it has. On top, we have a status LED, so we can know if our Wizgate Edge Lite 2 is working properly. In the back is the antenna connector, and we have many LED indicators, one for power, LoRa, WLAN, and the LTE connection. Yes, it has a micro SD card included for lag backup and LoRa frame buffering. A nano SIM slot for LTE connection. This supplies a backhole connection option if the main fails, and will just work if you have the Rack 7268C version. Here we have the typical reset button. A Type-C console port for debugging or a critical recovery of the firmware. A power over Ethernet connector. And the power adapter input. At the bottom, we have the wall mount holder and foam pads for placing it on top surfaces. The antenna of our gateway is omnidirectional, which means that it spreads the signal with the same strand in all directions. So to maximize the range, avoid placing it on corners or closed areas if you can. will perform better at a central point of the building or area you are trying to cover. As you can see, if I would install it at home, looking at the plans, this is a good place to deploy my gateway. In the next video, I will show you how to configure your gateway for the first time. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching and don't hesitate to like, share and subscribe for more techy and interesting content like this. We will be uploading more videos soon, so see you another time.